What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to the second episode of Shemak In. First things first, I want to point out, if you were wondering, the team I decided to choose to go for from the last episode onwards is going to be this Arsenal team with Shemak up front. Uh, I've included him for Merzil, but that's likely to change in a few days. I just happen to have him in my club. So that's the team there, that's the first thing sorted. Secondly, if you guys are looking for a fast and reliable coin service, check out Batalay.com. There is links there in the description down below. One more quick thing as well, if you guys haven't already seen the first episode, firstly, I'd recommend you watch it just so you know what this series is about. Secondly, I'd recommend you watch it because I'm giving away 100k on that video. You have to go back and guess just how many games you think it would take me to bang in that big 100 goals for Mao and Schmack. So go check out that last episode. I will try and put a link to that in the description if I remember to do so. So as you can see, we go straight into our first game and uh, it was interesting. Our, uh, Based around how this game has been playing this season, I expected it to be a walk in the park to be getting these headers. And when I was doing ridiculous things like that, uh, I, I don't know what I was doing. I, I just dropped it straight in front of him and things just did not seem to be going my way. Shamak was getting just ridiculous. He was fouling people ridiculously in every game I was playing. We lost that 1-1-0, to be honest with you. The fourth game did not go well. We'd already started off far worse than we had in, pre in, the pre in last year's one. I think we were on something like eight goals in four. So... I was worried, and we go into this next game with a guy who can afford to just stick Falcao and Cam, and that's an unbelievable team. I mean, minus the goalie, that's obviously going to help having him on six chem, but the uh, Colombian team is not very, very good. There's a lot of pace in that squad, and I'll be honest with you, I was extremely worried, but... Um, it wasn't actually too much of an issue for us. Shamak just seemed to have his shooting boots on. He picked up his first one here. Off balance, fifth minute, a sixth minute goal. Just a really nice finish indeed. Just, I don't know. Shamak just seems, sometimes he plays unbelievably well and sometimes he plays poorly. Now here is another example of just ridiculous tackling with him. My determination just to get the ball with him. That there could have been more than a send it off. That could have been a ban from football. That is one of the worst tackles I think I've ever seen on FIFA. So, uh, understandably, it's a mess. Now, that right there, what you just saw, me do in my opinion is one of the most overpowered things on FIFA it's more overpowered than that thing KSI did a video on the other day that right there is insane now the only problem is is you make mistakes as you saw in the first episode in the first game even I lost because I was trying to do that and I was stupid about it what you have to do is with the now look at this as well look at those stats mad but what you have to do with that is you need to be sprinting with your goalie and you need to press Y to drop the ball down if you do that and then almost instantly uh, press LB and Y it'll put it over the top to your uh, strikers and their defense will never be anywhere near it now um Nine times out of ten, you actually end up getting through on goal. Uh, so occasionally, the defender will come back and pick it up. But, I mean, from to go from a drop kick to be so, in such a great position is very useful. But Schmack picked up his hat-trick before uh, eventually dropped a wall court. It was like four volleys in a row there from my players. But uh, he made it 4-0 for us, put the game to bed, and uh, Schmack had already picked up uh, three goals, making it six for the series so far. Now, um... He started off the first game without a goal. Uh, he got three in this one, so you're thinking, here we go. He's starting to pick the pace up again. And we come up against this Serie A team. Very nice defence indeed. A very nice layout for a squad. Some great 4-1-2-1-2. Two, two, some really good players. Gomez and then Muriel with all his pace up top, obviously, to partner in them together. Will be a great partnership indeed. But uh, uh, Schmack doesn't, in fact, get a goal. But it is someone else who, uh, who's been on form for Arsenal in real life. But um, he, uh, he doesn't quite get it there. Ozil just manages to get it to bounce off the post. And it drops to Ramsey who slides in to pick it up. Now, for me, I did find it to be the case that with Podolski in left wing, it is actually very tricky. Now, of course, there's no other choices for left wing with Arsenal. Uh, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and Jovino, I believe, both used to be left wings last season. But now we are stuck with just Podolski, and it seemed to be that I couldn't really do a lot with him. But Daniel, uh, Daniel De Rossi there made an equaliser for them five minutes after Aaron Ramsey picked up his goal. And then in the second half... Um, Things seem to go from bad to worse. He picked up the ball uh, in the middle of the pitch with a nice slide and tackle. I, I think that was slightly offside. I don't know if you include the deflection. I was excruciatingly close to getting the ball with the slide tackle as well. So close, but it just managed to go past my back. Uh, we came very close here. Schmack actually uh, somehow managing to get the ball on the edge of the six-yard box. And how he put that over the bar, I, I don't know. It would have been easier to score than it would have been to miss. But there's nothing we can do about that. And then the game just throws here and I sat here waiting for ages and eventually my Xbox had to restart it which I will be showing you guys but that basically meant that uh, we didn't get to end the game we were losing anyway so we got the loss because we had to quit so that's frustrating but we end this episode with six games six goals and that is it I hope you guys are enjoying Schmack in I am really enjoying putting it together I do want to say thank you for Trey uh, to Trey for the music that is in this video there's a link to him in the description down below he's a really good friend of mine so go check him out you may have even seen him in vlogs before so go check out his YouTube comment on one of his 
latest video saying that I sent you. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a brilliant day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.